क्वेश्चन इज गोन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइनटी माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ईयर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट सी सोल्यूशन सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइन्टी माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी right this is given here so we can do here one thing we know one formula here nth root of a nth root of a is given nth root of a is given so we can write this one a power 1 upon n right this is the formula so using this formula we will solve this so here we can write this one 90 power 1 upon x because this is n time so nth root of a so 90 power 1 upon root x 1 upon root x minus 60 power 1 upon root x is equal to 40 power 1 upon root x now let's consider here one thing because 1 upon root x 1 upon root x 1 upon root x is a is given in all terms so we can consider here let's consider p is equal to 1 upon root x this is equation number 1 so we can write this one 90 power p 90 power p minus 60 power p is equal to 40 power p now we have to divide both side by 40 power p because we have to cancel this term so divide on both sides by 40 power p so 90 power p divided by 40 power p minus 60 power p divided by 40 power p is equal to 40 power p divided by 40 power p now 40 power p divided by 40 power p p so it will become cancel here so 90 power p minus 6 and uh, minus 40 power p so 90 power p divided by 40 power p minus 60 power p divided by 40 power p is equal to 1 now we can uh, we know one formula that is if a power n a power n divided by b power n is given so we can write this a upon b to the whole power n right so using this formula here we can write this one 90 upon 40 power p because power is same in numerator and denominator so 90 upon 40 power p minus 60 upon 40 power p is equal to 1 so here we can cancel this term this zero is cancel from this zero and here uh, this is cancel so it will become 22 ja and 23 ja 60 so we can write this one we can write this one 9 upon 4 power p minus 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 power p is equal to 1 now This is nine, so we can convert this in square form. So, three square upon four is two square. Power p minus three upon two power p is equal to one. Right. So we can write this one. Three upon two to the whole square. Power p minus three upon two power p is equal to one. Or three upon two to the whole power p and to the whole square minus three upon two power p is equal to one, right? Now three upon two power p and here three upon two power p. So we got here same term. Now we can consider here again any variable because then it will become uh, simple here. So let's consider. Three upon two power p is equal to q. 
this is equation number 2 you can say so we can write this one this is 3 upon 2 power p is q so q square minus q equal to 1 so q square minus q is equal to 1 we can write this one q square minus q minus 1 is equal to 0 right now value of q this is a quadratic form so value of q is equal to we are using formula here minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac upon 2 times a is equal to now here variable is coefficient of q square that is a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 1 so here minus b b is minus 1 so minus minus 1 plus minus b square b is minus 1 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is minus 1 upon 2 times a 2 times a is 1 now q is equal to minus minus plus so it will become plus here 1 plus minus square root minus 1 square is 1 minus minus plus 4 ones are 4 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus 4 is 5 square root of 5 divided by 2 this is the value of q so we can say q is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 or q is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 this is the value of q but recall one thing uh, from equation 2 from equation 2 q is equal to 3 upon 2 power p this is the value of q from equation 2 now we have to substitute this value so q equal to 3 upon 2 power p is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 or q equal to means 3 upon 2 power p equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 we got these two equation here now 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 power p equal to 1 plus square root of 5 upon 2 so here 1 plus square root of 5 upon 2 this is greater than 0 right so we can solve this one and here 1 minus square root of 5 upon 2 1 minus square root of 5 upon 2 this value of p or q you can say this is less than 0 so we have to reject this term because this is less than 0 this is not possible so we are taking this one so here 3 upon 2 power p is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now we have to take here log to find out the value of p so taking log on both sides then we will get here log of 3 upon 2 power p is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now here log of a upon b so log of a upon b is b log of a so we can write this one p log of 3 upon 2 so p times log of 3 upon 2 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now we have to find out the value of p so we have to cancel this term log of 3 upon 2 so we can divide both sides by log of 3 upon 2 divide on both sides by log of 3 upon 2 3 by 2 so p times log of 3 by 2 divided by log of 3 by 2 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 3 by 2 right now log of 3 by 2 divided by log of 3 by 2 it will become cancelled so value of p is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 3 by 2 now we got the value of p here uh, we know that 
p is equal to 1 upon root x right so 1 upon p is equal to root x so here we can write this one p is equal to this one so 1 upon p so 1 upon p if you are doing this is 1 upon p so uh, numerator will uh, comes in denominator and denominator uh, will comes in numerator so here log of 3 upon 2 divided by log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now 1 upon p 1 upon p equal to root of x so here this is the value of root of x so 1 upon p is equal to root of x is equal to log of 3 by 2 divided by log of 1 plus square root of 5 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 this is the value of root x now here we have to solve this one so square root of x is equal to this is log of 3 by 2 so we can write log of 3 by 2 is equal to log of 3 minus log of 2 because this is formula log of a upon b is equal to log of a minus log of b so using this formula we can write this one log of 3 minus log of 2 divided by this one log of 1 plus square root of 5 log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so minus log of 2 right now square root of 5 so here value of square root of 5 is we can say this is square root of 5 so we can say value of square root of 5 is equal to 2.2361 this is the value of square root of 5 here now we have to uh, here 1 plus square root of 5 so 1 plus square root of 5 is equal to it will become 1 plus 2.2361 is equal to 3.2361 this is the value of 1 plus square root of 5 so 1 plus square root of 5 now we have to substitute this value here and log of 3 so value of log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 and log of 3.2361 this one 3.2361 this is log of 1 plus square root of 5 so uh, 1 plus square root of 5 log of uh, uh, 3.2361 is equal to 0 0.5100 now we have to substitute this all value here so square root of x is equal to log of 3 log of 3 that is 0 .0 0 0.4771 minus log of 2 so log of 2 is 0 0.3010 divided by log of 3.2361 so log of 3.2361 is here 0 0.51 0 0.5100 0 minus log of 2 so log of 2 is 0 0.3010 0 0.3010 so square root of x is equal to when we are subtracting this term we will get here almost 0 0.1761 divided by 0 0.5100 minus 0 0.3010 value will come here 0 0.2090 and when we are dividing this term we will get approximate value here 0 0.8423 8423 so we can say square root of x approximate value of square, uh, square root of x is 0 0.8423 so here this is the square root of x now we have to find out the value of x right so we can take here square so square root of x whole square is equal to 0 0.8423 whole square so square is cancelled from square root here x is equal to when we are taking square of this number we will get here 0 0.70995 this is the we can say this is the approximate value of x so this is the solution for this equation thank you